It's all about Apex today. The best video game that's ever been created in the history of video games, Apex Legends. So, Apex Legends had a mobile version. And that mobile version that was made by some Chinese company, and I think it lasted like a year, and I downloaded it, I looked at it, but I was like, why would I want to play Apex on my phone when I have an absolute beast of a computer to see this beautiful game, right, the way it should be seen? Okay, so that was my opinion. So I literally downloaded it, looked at it, never even played it once, right? So, but here's what I wish the Apex Mobile would be. Apex Mobile would be all this stuff, this stuff, this stuff, all this. Look at all this, select all this, go into here, check all this out, be able to read this. And not only all that, but maybe even like stuff from the past, like old story so you could go back and catch up and like like a, a repository of the lore would be freaking awesome and uh yeah everything but the game so you just don't even have you don't play it you just go on there now what would be an interesting uh game to have in there is like a trivial pursuit for apex lore right something like that that would be awesome okay number two apex minor leagues what about a path for people to play competitively but not in obviously in the major leagues right so what i would suggest for that is actually dividing up the contestants by age so in other words, the minor leagues is minor leagues, teenagers, minor leagues, 20 year olds, 30 year olds, 40 year olds, 50 year olds broken up by that. Okay. I think that would be huge. And finally, uh, last but not least is how SBMM works in my observation over all these years first they didn't have anything then they employed a system and from what we know it breaks breaks people up into four buckets is what they call them right by skill level now they have five but the lowest one is a bot literal bot lobby so really it doesn't really count because as soon as you do whatever in there you go up a level so what i think is going on you see my KDR is horrible. Well, some seasons I've gotten close to getting a one point KDR. I'm not going to go through and look, but I've gotten close in, up in 9.9 .9 before. I think that is when they bump you up. So you're in bucket one. You almost get a 1.0 KDR. Now you're in bucket two and so forth. And bucket four is where all the best players in the world are. And that's how it went on for a while. But then people were complaining that they couldn't play the game with people like their friends or their girlfriends. And so what I think Respawn did is they adjusted the SBMM to grab people from different skill levels, like from bucket four, bucket three, and maybe even bucket two, or maybe a bucket one, or a bucket, uh, yeah, bucket one, two, three, something like this, and combining those players so people could play with their girlfriend or friend or whatever that's a lot lower ability level and the game like if you go in as a duo like i'm i always play solo but i get put with like <laughs> couples on their date night every once in a while and the dude's super good and the girl's like okay and i'm like kind of in the middle so i think they changed it at some point 
And the definer is your KDR. Like if you can get a one KDR, you're in the fourth bucket. Like you can't have under, or excuse me, you can't have a one point KDR or over and be in any other bucket than the top bucket. So I hope you enjoy this video. There's an apex video for you. Like, subscribe, and peace. Thank you for watching.